Welcome to Crazy Shit in Real Estate, a weekly podcast where I walk you through some of the wildest, most unbelievable stories you'll hear from the world of real estate. If you like real estate and you love crazy, this is the podcast for you. Before we get any further into this episode, I've got some information to share. This episode is sponsored by Follow Up Boss, one of the leading CRMs, client relationship managers for residential real estate, tons of top producing agents, and some of the fastest growing teams out there are using Follow Up Boss to increase lead conversion, eliminate busy work that you're not doing anyway, and frankly, deliver a higher class experience in real estate to everybody who chooses you as their realtor of choice. So if you're going to keep listening to this, which I know you will, there's more information and a personal review of Follow Up Boss. For more information, go to followupboss.com slash crazy. Don't be greedy. You know, just learn the process. You're like, okay, great. Now I can do this on my own, right? That's what I did. In the first one, I learned the process. And after that, you know, then that was a 63 unit. And fast forward less than two years, we're at 690 units, right? So. And can we just teach the whole younger generation that you don't have to make all the money at the beginning because you yep. haven't earned it yet. There is so much honor in absorbing information and learning the process so that you can profit later. And I feel like everybody's all about immediate gratification right now, but what you're describing is delayed gratification, but it took your learning curve like this because you were slow and steady about it. You exploded instead of trying to be here out of the gates and then crash and burn, which we see people crash and burn all the time. Yeah, for sure. And then they're broke. Yep. So you got to connect with folks, operators who are experienced and just kind of learn the ropes and, and then kind of take what you're, what you like and make it, you know, like fit your, your, your system. And, you know, a lot of realtors out there, I think you guys, you know, sit on a gold mine all the time. Um, I used to have realtors send me these deals. I'm like, you know, like downtown Raleigh, like, Hey, here's a, Hey, I have a client. He wants to sell off market for 60 K for this house. I'm like downtown it's worth like 180. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm going to buy that. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, why, why isn't she not buying it? Like, oh my god, their brain's over here and the brain's yes. not opening up its scope to go over here. And you're right. The gold mine though, y'all is the people in here. It's the people saved in your exactly. phone. That's your gold mine. And you can't be afraid of having a conversation. And maybe that agent, if they were smart, they would have said, Javier, I got this opportunity over here. Can I give it to you and shadow you in the process Something and like exactly. learn from you? And you might not get paid as much as you're going to learn, but there is a definitely return on brain that can come out of this, not just the return on investment. Yeah, for sure. Right. The a return on knowledge. And, uh, you know, yeah, you bring a, bring a project and be like, Hey, how can I partner? How can I learn the process? How can I be I'm going to be a fly in the wall and see how you do it. Yeah, that's how I learned that's commercial valuable. real estate. Yeah. I asked a commercial agent to write yeah. an offer for me and said, "Can I please, please, please shadow you? I don't need any money. I just need to learn." She said yes because I wasn't going to get in her way. So yep. you also have to be a good mentee that is quietly learning and not yeah. trying to know everything because some people are know it alls and have a hard time taking it back a notch. But I know y'all can. So now we we got to hear about this adult film star, porn okay. star, because I know they're all thinking, all right, we're done with the investment talk, Lee. Let Javier talk. So tell us about the porn star. Okay. So I told y'all that I would do a review of Follow Up Boss, you know, because I'm your friend in real estate. And I did. Now, you know, there's a blue million CRM out there. I mean, if you go to any Facebook group, every realtor's like, which one should I use? Which one should I use? And you know that these CRM, which are client relationship managers or customer relationship manager, whatever you want to call it, it's truly a system that's just designed to help you know what to do next because you're very busy and you're a multitasker in real estate with all those different tasks and balls up in the air. You need something to help you stay on track and that's what Follow Up Boss does. Now this thing, this cell phone, not a CRM y'all, when you save a name and a phone number in there, that is basically a Rolodex. Follow Up Boss is going to take the names and phone numbers and also help you know what to do next so you can maintain these relationships with your neighbors. Because that's what this is about. Real estate is not about serving just prospects and clients. It's about taking great care of your neighbor's needs in real estate. And if you'll use a tool like Follow Up Boss, where they remember you, oh, they might even call you when they're ready to buy or sell again, or when their mom and daddy do, or their best friend or their kid, and you want to be top of mind, that's what a product like Follow Up Boss will do for you. 
truly, it's going to change your business when you start paying better attention to people. They don't have to know you use Follow Up Boss, but they'll totally understand that they are being heard by you. So now there's a free trial for my people because you're loved. Go to followupboss.com slash crazy. No credit card is required. And frankly, because you're my people and we made an ask for you, Follow Up Boss said, yes, you get double the free trial. That's actually enough time to log in, put some pieces in it, and watch it change your business as it has for so many realtors and teams nationwide. Again, go to followupboss.com slash crazy to start your free trial today. All right. So my very first flip, um, uh, we bought it and uh, I met the I met the lady, the, the owner and her husband. I'm like, she was really, really pretty. And her uh, husband was not very pretty <laughs> or good looking. I'm like, he must be a really nice guy. And uh, he definitely doesn't have money because he was in a very expensive house. Uh, but anyway, so long story short, um, when I read the contract, it said a refrigerator conveys, right? So I didn't know, like, I, it didn't hit me. I was in the military. So convey, convoy means get the hell out of there, right? Like leave. So I go and I grab I mean, yeah, I, I grab the fridge. I take it with me. Like, hey, sure enough, that afternoon I get a call from the agent. Like, hey, where's the fridge? I'm like, well, convoy to my, to my garage, you know? <laughs> took it to my garage. Like, no, you need to bring it back. So anyways, I took a back. I took it back with my 20-year-old uh, uh, who was 19 back then. Uh, we took it back, put it in there, and she was talking to somebody about replacing the carpet. She didn't like the carpet color. And when she was done with that, she gets a cigarette and starts smoking there in the kitchen. And uh, she's like, hey, he wants to charge me $5,000 to change the carpet. That's a lot. I go, yeah, that's, 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 a high, that's a high cost, high fee. And then she says, that's a lot of bleep I have to suck. She said that right in front of me. I'm like. In front uh, of your kid? Me. Oh, gross. Yeah, and, and my 19-year-old, he's, um, he's, he, he's from Belarus. He's, he speaks fluent Russian and his English is okay. Like he's got pretty good English. So he was behind her and um, he like stops and like does a double take. Like, did I just hear that? Like, because his English is not the best. Anyways, so we started a conversation. I found out what she did. Um, and my son's like, can we take a selfie, dad? Like, heck no, my mom would tell us. Hell, we can't take no selfie. We're not taking no selfie here. Like, we're leaving. Like, we're leaving. Anyway, so that was my, my story of selling uh, my first house to a porn star. Look, you got to remind him, too, this whole facial recognition software. You think it's a cute picture, but somebody somewhere is going to start connecting the dots. Yep. And the internet is forever. Okay, now don't forget to go try Follow Up Boss so that your business can continue to expand in professionalism and then you can meet some more crazy people yourself. I really appreciate Follow Up Boss sponsoring this episode, but mainly I appreciate them for giving y'all double the free trial time with no credit card required. So make sure you go to followupboss.com slash crazy and then let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, you're enjoying this little clip? Well, the rest of the story is available on any of your podcast apps. Just go search for and subscribe to Crazy Shit in Real Estate with Lee Brown.